Got your AnyTone 868 or 878. You just want to get it connected to your hotspot and get on air on DMR. So hope this video will help you do that. Right, we're here at the AnyTone tech site. You can see the address here at the top. So we've got the cable and then if you scroll down a bit, it says download the latest drivers for your programming cable. So click that. Um, and then find the one that suits you so I'm going to go down to the one that says Windows 64 I'm going to click it and then hopefully we have the driver I think I've already got it anyway to be honest anyway, you get the idea you're going to need the USB driver for the um, any tone 868 or 78 so once you've run it you will have this um, window here appear open up the, the CPS software as you can see so right now it's come straight from Moonraker you know you haven't put it on your radio yet um, my radio is connected and just to see which COM port it's on, you just go, so right click here to your device manager and have a look at the COM ports and I'm pretty sure it's uh, the GD32 one, so it's probably COM port 13, uh, but I've got, you know, I've got three I can try, one, 13 or 12. Back to our um, code plug, so at the moment it's just Moonraker stuff. So the one we're interested in right now is the hotspot. So if we go to zone, they would have, uh, if you don't know what zones are, it's groups of channels. So if you look here, you've got your hotspot here. You've got simplex channels. If you go further down, you've got gateways. And, you know, these are all zones for different parts of the country. I've added three more hotspots here because I've got at least four hotspots and all I did to do that was went to hotspot right click copied then went to the bottom of the zone sections and pasted it so because I've got a lot of hotspots but what we want to do is get the hotspot zone um, to be the same as our hotspot at home so this is my hotspot at home. It's actually active now on talk group 91. Someone's talking. So what we the, the thing we need is the frequency, which is here. I go to Moonraker's uh, website, uh, type in Anytone 868. <clears throat> and you, I'm for the, everything I say is for the 78 as well. Um, and then go to this section here. There's a file. Click it. And everything in this... Um, file down here bottom left is 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 what you need so extract that to a, a file create a file on your desktop called anytone 878 and then extract that everything in that file in that raw to that file so you need the cps so you're going to need to run that i've already ran mine so once you've run it and opened it the other thing you're going to need to do is uh, install the uh, the driver for the usb cable so see if we can find you a link for that as well. Look at your configuration page on PyStar. You'll see your DMR number, call sign, and your, the frequency of your hotspot there as well. And just check that you are connected to DMR. Turn all the other ones off. So next, find the uh, program, double click it. So it opens up. You now enter your code plug. At the moment, it's just got Moonraker's details in there. You need to get your own in there. So let's um, let's hit digital radio ID. So what we're going to do? We're just going to get our radio ID in there first. Pretty sure this is where you put your DMR number. Like so. ID name says Moonraker. So I'm going to put M. M zero F X B. Click OK. Uh, so now when we go in the channels, it will have, you know, your. Hopefully, I've got that the right way round. 
So what we'll do now, we'll, uh, we'll go to the, uh, the zones here. You've got a blank one here. So I think we'll make that our uh, hotspot one. So we'll, we know it's channel number one. So we click channel, go to number one, change this frequency here and here to the same as our hotspot that you've already seen on Pistar. Change this to digital voice. Um, we'll choose, I've already, we've already done our call sign, our DMR ID. We'll call it hot, um, Pistar hotspot so we don't get lost. Uh, hot, S-P-O-T. Okay. Um, and then um, we'll do slot, color code one, we'll do slot two because that's what it says on the Pistar. We'll change the power to medium. I think that's all we need. Oh yeah, see this where it says TX prohibit. We want that not ticked. So normally it isn't, but anyway, it's not ticked now. We'll click OK. So we we know that the uh, the com on this radio is is uh, thirteen. So that's already in there. So you have to set that as well. I'll just show you that again. Set com thirteen, and the way we found that was by going into our device manager and seeing it when. Uh, the radio was connected and turned on. So now we'll just go right to radio. See the little one there with the arrow, or you could, you can actually go. I think you can select it in this. Here. Anyway, just click here once. Right to radio. That's what it says here. Click, click OK. We'll include all the digital contacts. We need to update the. Um, contact soon but for now uh, let's just do that we'll click OK and it starts to send it to the radio and the radio looks like this it's quite quick you get this message you also get a message on the PC if you have an error it'll be easy to do with your cable Okay, so we turn the radio on, and to change zones on this radio, you go, you push these little white lines up and down. So if you go up, we're looking for the one that was called Pi Star Hotspot. So there it is there. Now remember that one was already set on Talk Group Nine, so we're already starting to get traffic there from uh, my hotspot, which is on Talk Group Nine at the moment. But let's say you want to join a talk group. So all you do is. Um, Push this, the button underneath the PTT, just once. Type in uh, um, the, the talk group you want to go to, so 91, or you could do 4000, or 2350, or 80, get the idea. And you have to always push the hash to get you into group mode. Private ID is when you're going to call, try and contact someone direct. So we'll push the hash, we're in talk group mode. And now just key the mic, okay? And I'll show you now that we've um, we were active on the on the Pi Star system. So if you look there, um, second line down, M zero FXB on Talk Group ninety one. Now I could do the same again and change, but this will get you up and running. Yeah, you heard someone call there. So this will get you up and running um, with your Moonraker code plug in about, you know, 10 minutes. Um, and then you can start learning and adding more talk groups. And then you can start adding, you know, FM contacts and all the other stuff that you like. But have a look at the, the Moonraker code plug because they have they have put a lot in there. Um, and you might end up finding that, that you it's easier to actually change some of the things that they've already put in there. So I hope this gets you going with your 868 or 878 M0FXB73. Please subscribe and like.